Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Shamar Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined today by Dr. Abdullah al Araimi, who is the Director of Frequency Planning Department for the Public Authority of Radio and Television for the Sultanate of Oman. Dr. al Araimi, welcome to the studio. And uh, actually, I am very glad to be first in uh, the lovely country here, uh, Egypt, and mainly in Sharm el-Sheikh and to be with the all gathering here and worldwide to be here in the WRC 19. So thank you very much for this uh, moments that we spent together. Thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about WRC 19. Why is the world radio communication important to you? I believe it's not your first time at a WRC meeting. It's a long meetings here, but they are obviously very productive. And I just really wanted to ask you, you know, why is it important in your calendar? Actually, as you know, now the world, we can say it is a small village. We can say it. So we are close to each other. So I cannot say uh, for the time being that I am away from, from you. So all the services, either in mobile, in TV, in uh, aviation, in everything, they are all connected to each other in the world, worldwide. So WRC, uh, now it's the, 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 the heart of uh, organizing the, all the field of communication worldwide. So, of course, it's very important for us uh, as Sultanate of Oman to participate in this uh, event. And what are the kind of conversations, what are the topics that are of most interest to you here? Actually, uh, there are many topics, but as I am coming from the um, broadcasting field, I am actually uh, dealing with mainly UHF band. Because uh, UHF band, as you know, it's from four, uh, 470 to... Uh, 960 before it was belonged to broadcasting but uh, in the WRC uh, 15 they cut ha uh, half of it or more than half actually uh, banned uh, 800 and 700 to for IMT and there were one resolution uh, it's resolution 235 which also asking the administration to make study Okay, for till the two th uh, WRC 223. And actually we are uh, here to look after this band so that we can uh, complete our service in broadcasting. So in principle what happened was that they reduced the band to make way for IMT 2020, 5G, and to give that more space and more availability, and that's reduced your being able to use that band for television broadcasting, is that that's, right? That's right, and uh, as you know also broadcasting, actually f as mobile become advanced, you know, day by day, uh, we start from uh, first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and we are talking now about five generation for IMT. Broadcasting is the same, actually. Uh, the broadcasting also, we start for the standard definition, then we move to high definition, and now we are talking about the UHD and uh, or 4K and also 8K. So all of us as uh, technicals uh, or engineers, we are looking also to support our service. So uh, as you know that uh, when, uh, if we talk about HD or for or UHD or 4K, actually the bitrate that we need now today, I, I want to talk. I want to talk about 8K because uh, all this they need high bitrate to uh, convince also your audience to see your programs. And for that reason, I think we are as a broadcaster, we need this uh, uh, band for us for our service. Okay, so moving with the times, what's the migration like between uh, analog and digital for the Sultan of Oman? Yes, actually we have big project in the Sultan of Oman. Uh, we already started our project for moving uh, from uh, analog to digital. And uh, we try to apply the, the, the latest technology in our project. Uh, related to the compression system, we are uh, using HEVC. And uh, of course, we are using also DVB-T2 for the transmitters. 
Uh, our projects consist of uh, 70 sites, 70 stations. Uh, started from 5 watt to 5 kilowatt. And 50% of the project now, it's uh, already we are on air. Uh, of course, we want to have simultaneous transmission between analog and TV, but sometimes we face some problem related to the spare parts for our old transmitter working in analog uh, transmission. But our project uh, going very well, and day by day we will complete it, inshallah. Talking about completion, what uh, do you hope will be the final outcomes from this conference? What will be the most important outcomes for you to be going home with, uh, safe in the knowledge at the end of this? Uh, it's a good, uh, very good question. Actually, the main thing for me is uh, UHF band to be uh, stay as it is for the broadcasting services. And also, uh, I wish that we can also find a solution for our BMSE. Uh, services in as you know also we have now everything become wireless either cameras microphone and uh, a lot of things now become without cables it's wireless so all these things uh, need also a spectrum to use in so I think the main things for me is the UH, uh, UHF band and PMSC service also they need we need to fight to get some bands for them especially for PMNC services. Well, I'm sure you'll keep fighting your corner um, very well and I wish you the very best for the rest of the conference. Thank you Dr. Aroma for being with us in the studio and hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon, uh, maybe sooner than the next four years. And I am very happy actually to be with you here and also to introduce something from my country and uh, our uh, contributions here in this uh, uh, conference. Thank you very much. Very valuable indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.